In today's video, you will witness 10 things you want to know in CSGO. And surprise at the end of the video. Guys, Nate King here. In today's video, I show you 10 tips I would be really glad if someone would have told me when I started playing CSGO. Some of them are more basic things, some of them are rather easter eggs. So even if you're a global elite, you should find something new from here. Also, right now I'm hosting two knives giveaway on Twitter. Check it out. Let's start off with a simple crouch. Did you know that when you crouch, your player model is bigger from the left side. You are always crouching to your left side. It means if you are for example taking a crouch peek, then when you do it to the left side, it's more likely that enemy would react to that than to the right side. Sometimes I like to crouch and peek the corners, but I try to avoid crouch peeking corners if I have to peek left. You could get away with that, but if an enemy has create reactions, he definitely got an advantage. Keep that in mind. Next up, really basics. But still, I have lost rounds in matchmaking because people simply don't know how much time takes the bomb plant. Now listen up, bomb plant takes a bit less than 4 seconds. So make sure you have at least 4 seconds to plant the bomb. You must be in bomb site at that time. I have seen people losing 4 versus 2 rounds because they simply got the bomb down 1 second too late. Try to not repeat these easy mistakes. Little movement tip, understanding this helped me a lot in my first days in CSGO. So try to avoid W, especially when coming out behind the corner. Of course you can't avoid W if you need to move straight, but when you are clearing the corner or peeking out like this, use only A or D. Because when you shoot you want to stay still and it's easier to get you still when you have to counter only side movement. So when you are going out with A, just press D once and you got 100% accuracy. You are not only improving your first bullet's accuracy, but you will be harder target to hit, as you peek out faster and wider. If you go out holding W and A, you are not peeking that far away, and it's harder to get the accuracy on point. Just focus on this when you play, and if you do it right, you can't get stuck in silver at least. Alright, let's talk about chickens. They can do many bad things, like mess up the door entrances or ruining your shots. But if you slice next to them or jump next to them, they can actually give up on your position. As they will be scared and they are quickly running away from you. At long distances it can be the hint for the enemy that you are close to the chicken. By the way, right click with the knife does nothing. Super general. Basics again. You reach your fastest speed with the knife and with the bomb in your hands. Other weapons will reduce your speed. Depends on the weapon of course. The machine gun is not a smart choice if you want to push fast. Alright, we have to talk about the nades. You have 4 nade slots, but it doesn't mean you can't buy and throw more nades. It's actually pretty useful on some maps to throw smoke from the spawn and then buy another flash or nade to have full nades for the whole round. On Mirage for example, you can even fake A with flashes and rebuy them from spawn. You will have 15 seconds to rebuy the nades. Use this tip well. Next up, bot tip. If you are playing matchmaking and someone leaves or gets kicked, you will have a bot in your team. In order to not lose your bot, let someone say, hold this position and let someone answer with affirmative. These two radio commands will 100% stop the bot and he will camp next to spawn, till someone takes control over the bot. By the way, if you die and spectate bot, press E to get control over the bot. Easy as that. CT side tip. If you are playing against 5 AKs, better buy only Kevlar and save $350. Do not buy Kevlar plus helmet, because AK-47 will anyways kill you with one bullet in the head. A helmet will not help you in this case of scenario. If they are on force buy or pistols, then go with the full Kevlar plus helmet of course. But otherwise, it's a great way to save some money. Alright, rather situational tip, but really useful to know for lurkers. If you reload, you will leave magazine behind you for about 15 seconds. So if someone is chasing you and sees the magazine, he knows that you must be close. Make sure to check the ground once in a while and reload when you really need to reload. If you still have 25 bullets to shoot, 
you are okay. And the last tip for this video, smoke the bomb. Simple as that. The lower the rank, the better it works. Like even if you're trying to plant and you feel someone could molly the site or someone could hide close to the site, smoke yourself. You have higher chances to get the bomb down and it's all that matters at this point. Also, when you're going to retake again, smoke the bomb. Then you have nice options to play with. You can go for instant defuse or tap the bomb and sneak out from the smoke. The enemy will be worried a lot more if they don't see the bomb because of the smoke. Try it out.